Just a reminder, our meditation is a series of choices we get to make. Just removing any pressure that we need to sit a certain way or that we need to feel a certain way. We're just practicing. So taking these first few moments to find a posture. Sometimes just a gentle shift side to side will help you determine if you need a little bit of a different support. Something small like one ankle is taking a little more pressure than the other. But over time, that starts to feel like more and more pressure. So just making these small adjustments. And as we're getting situated, I'm just going to name that we will work with the full Tonglen practice today. The Tonglen practice is giving and receiving. And we'll go really slow with it. We have the half hour to work with it. And you're going to hear me use the word difficulty. And we're welcoming in difficulty. And this is not always an easy practice. But we're going to start really slow and gentle. And sometimes I'm naming again this, just the practice itself. It sometimes feels counterintuitive because many of us are taught to avoid the difficult or to fix the difficult and to hang on to the good things. But really what we're trying to do is allow and welcome, no matter what comes up in a human existence, we're allowing all of that to be okay. And then in fact, we're recognizing the difficulty and practicing transforming that into some usefulness. So again, it's not necessarily a practice that we're trying to feel that ease, we're just inviting it in and we're just going one breath at a time. And just a reminder that anytime there's a meditation practice, we get to choose if that tool makes sense for us. So in the moment, and I'll remind us this often as we practice, that it's really in the moment. We can always just come back to the breath. And in the moment, if you're like, yeah, no, I can work with this small difficulty, this feels okay. Or in the moment, you might feel like, you know what, dealing with difficulty right now just doesn't feel right. I'm just going to focus on my breath again. So just that reminder that we're utilizing our meditation practice to support us in the moment, and we're just practicing. So we get to practice, we get to make our choices. And as we're getting situated here, I will invite you to either close your eyes or set your gaze downward. And we'll spend this first little while just attuning. Just attuning to your body, attuning to the environment around you, listening to your inner landscape. these first few moments, just letting yourself notice what you notice. Maybe it sounds around you. Maybe you're still shifting a bit in your body or you're purposely swaying or making some neck rolls. And just noticing sensation, sound, temperature and touch. Just anything that's within your sensory awareness. And noticing, what does your breath feel like? These little noticings, these little awareness points, we're just anchoring into our body. Our body is our focal point. And we're just returning again and again. We're not trying to force our mind to be still. And we're not trying to make our attention stay. We're just noticing when our attention wanders. Just like we're training a puppy. We just notice that puppy is wandering and sniffing and excited. And we're just finding that puppy and treating it with tenderness. You might imagine that same way you're treating your mind. You're just noticing when it wanders off. And then you just call to it. You're just calling your attention back. You're just shepherding your attention back to yourself. 
oh yeah, that's right. What does my breath feel like? How can I tend to myself? Maybe there's a physical sensation that I'm noticing and I can just bring my awareness to it. My feet feel like this. And whatever this is, if it feels like a judgment, I like this, I don't like it, can you just settle into pure awareness and just noticing a oh, sensation in my feet? Sensation as I breathe. Just sensing and aware of sensing. Just allowing whatever comes up to be part of your landscape of awareness. Your body is your anchor, returning back to it again and again. And then specifically your breath. And we'll begin this Tonglen practice by just noticing the reciprocal nature of your breath. There is a reciprocal gifting. We breathe in the gift of life, drawing in gases that enliven ourselves and give us life. And we breathe out an exchange of gases that give life to the greenery around us. And there's nothing we need to do to prepare ourselves to receive that gift. There's nothing we need to do to make ourselves more or better. Exactly as we are, there's an innate goodness in the breath. And we're just beginning there, just noticing this natural gifting as we breathe. There's a natural giving and taking, giving and receiving. And as you breathe, you're just inviting in that idea. Can I allow myself to receive this gift of breath? And recognize that I'm giving back a gift every time I breathe out. So breathing, noticing the rhythm of breath. Continuing to bring this into mind, just receiving a gift and giving a gift with every breath in and out. Our body, our breath, 
This is always our physical anchor. And as we continue to work with this Tonglen practice, our mental anchor is returning back to this remembering that each breath is a gift. There is an innate goodness in your breath. And this helps us anytime where we need our own compassion. So anytime we start judging ourselves or judging someone else in our mind, well, judgment oftentimes causes a bit of a restriction. So we just come back to this remembrance. Oh yeah, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to perform well. I don't have to achieve anything to just simply receive this gift. And then to offer a gift right back. It's just naturally happening as I breathe. Just allowing my body to breathe for me and landing right back in that place, of giving and receiving. Just spending a bit more time here, just noticing the rhythm of your breath. Just giving and receiving breath. We'll add a layer. So again, remembering you can just stay here, just noticing your breath, being with your body. If it makes sense for you, just inviting in this visual that every time you're breathing in, you're creating spaciousness. And every time you're breathing out, you're creating usefulness. And in the Tonglen practice, there's a word, sunyata, and it means spaciousness, but it also means emptiness. Perhaps imagining your body as a vessel to just welcome in anything that's in your environment. It's noticing the sounds around you, noticing your breath moving within you, and just recognizing the spaciousness that you create on your inhale. And you might even create a little softness in your jaw or your shoulders every time you exhale. Inviting in spaciousness and practicing easefulness. And that reminder, we're not trying to make ourselves feel easeful. We're just inviting it in. Just like we're practicing welcoming. So welcoming is not always easy. Sometimes our mind wants to resist. Well, I welcome everything but that part. And we just notice that, that part, whatever the part that we don't want to welcome, usually needs tenderness. So then we might return again. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm just receiving the gift of breath. There's a gentleness in that. So a bit more time, just practicing. What does it feel like to imagine or feel spaciousness on the inhale? And practicing easefulness on the exhale.
Continuing to work with this visual spaciousness and easefulness. So we can feel spaciousness and easefulness in our body. And we'll start to work with our mind a little bit more. Then I'll invite you, before we get into the humanness of the Tonglen practice, we'll just work with some imagery. And I'll invite you to imagine breathing in a rainy, cloudy day, perhaps like this day, depending on where you are. And breathing out a rainbow at the end of the rain. And sometimes visuals are helpful, sometimes they feel complicated in the mind. Reminder, you can always just come back to your breath, breathing in spaciousness, breathing out easefulness, or just remembering the gift of breath itself. If it makes sense for you, just trying on, breathing in a rainy day, breathing out a rainbow at the end of the rain. And this helps us start to work with these small judgments. Some of us love a rainy day. Some of us are like, man, I wish it wasn't raining because I'm planning to do this, this, this. But oftentimes we'll name a stormy, cloudy day as different than a sunny, bright day. And however we judge that, we're starting to work with those little judgments without adding more judgment, without trying to fix it. Just noticing what it feels like in your body. To breathe in and imagining you're just breathing in a cloudy, perhaps gray day. And you're breathing out, just breathing out the rainbow at the end of the rain. Perhaps there's a visual or there's a sound, imagining the sound of the rain or actually hearing it. And then when you breathe out, just imagining a rainbow, imagining a line of sunshine. And practice with that just for a few moments. Just breathing in a cloudy, rainy day. And breathing out a rainbow, a ray of sunshine. It's quite normal when we work with visuals that they come and go, they're clear in one moment and muddy the next. Or sometimes the visual just doesn't quite feel right. It's all normal. But it's really this practice of inviting in and welcoming and then letting out some easefulness. And I'll add one more layer. And this layer here is just inviting in something either within your body right now or something that's happening in your life that's maybe a bit difficult. And if possible, I invite you to choose something on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most difficult, like a 2 or a 3. Like I'm feeling a bit of irritation in my low back. I'm remembering that I got cut off in traffic yesterday. It wasn't so detrimental to me, but I'm remembering that my body tenses a little when I remember that. If you're feeling a lot of deep grief in your life or you're remembering a really difficult conversation, well, those are the moments you really need a lot of tenderness. So if this practice is newer, can you just notice something physically in the moment? And if there's no discomfort in the moment, we'll just work with that. So we want to start slow and easefully rather than going to the big difficulties in life. So at this moment in my physical body, I'm not actually feeling anything uncomfortable. So I'm just going to keep practicing welcoming in anything that I'm feeling. Just welcoming on the inhale and practicing easefulness on the exhale. And if there is some small difficulty, can you notice the sensation of it rather than the story of it? It feels like tingling. It feels like warmth. It feels like a heaviness. It feels like a deepness. 
our mind will often want to follow the story in these things. We're just noticing, can I feel the sensation in my body? And when I'm breathing in, I'm inviting it in, not to intensify it, but just to say it's okay for me to feel this way. I'm just welcoming in anything that I'm experiencing with tenderness and still practicing a bit of ease when I exhale. So we're not trying to hang on to the story or the sensation. We're just softening a bit. Just welcoming in anything that arises. And oftentimes we'll notice that sensations shift and change. So maybe what felt uncomfortable a moment ago starts to feel a bit more easeful. What felt like a lovely warmth a moment ago starts to feel too hot. It's a bit itchy. And so there's these changes and fluctuations, and we're just working with that breath by breath. Each inhale is a welcoming in, no matter what's in our landscape. Each exhale, a practice of inviting in ease. Take a few moments again to just notice your breath. It's not uncommon for our mind to get busy in this kind of a practice or for our mind to become a bit dull and start to either check out or shift away. All of that is normal. But just notice again your breath. What does it feel like in your body? Maybe remembering just the innate goodness of breath, the giving and receiving every time you breathe in and out. Just freshening, perhaps deepening this next inhale. And inviting your jaw, your shoulders to relax a bit on the exhale. Just practicing a bit of ease. And then this last step, to bring to mind somebody in your life that you love and care for that might be having a difficult time. So maybe you chatted with a friend the other day and they're just dealing with some difficulty. So maybe it's a family member or a loved one. Rather than dwelling in the story about the difficulty, you might imagine that you're sitting with this person and you're just enveloping them with tenderness and compassion. And that expansive, spacious breath that you breathe in creates this expansiveness to hold them. And it's helpful to work with a human that you know so that we're not just working with the concept of difficulty. We're remembering that all humans deal with these difficulties. And when we're imagining sitting with someone that we love, it helps us increase our capacity for compassion. And if working with difficulty doesn't quite feel right for you, you're just coming back to remembering the gift of each breath. It's listening to the sounds around you, feeling sensation. But if it makes sense, we'll spend just a few moments here remembering your friend, your loved one, and rather than following the story, you're just welcoming and inviting, holding the whole of them, the difficulties, the joys, all of their humanness. It's 
I welcome in all of you as I breathe in. And I'm practicing ease with you as I exhale. I'm inviting in spaciousness to hold this with you. And we're practicing easefulness together. Sitting with that for just a few moments. In these next couple of breaths, just noticing if there's any story in your mind, just replace it with these two words, compassion and ease. And work with that these next couple of breaths. It's just that, breathing in compassion, breathing out ease, compassion and ease. Just remembering the gift of each breath. And finally, bring your awareness to your own hands. Let's notice how we can shift our mental attention when we're conscious of it. Shifting your attention to your hands. You're welcome to bring your hands into any of your closing habits or practices. If it's less familiar, you might just try noticing the temperature of your hands. Noticing the pressure. And remembering even here the gift that your hands offer you so often day to day. And as we come to a close today, we'll practice a few loving kindness phrases. Just phrases of well wishing for yourself. You can repeat the phrases back to yourself if they make sense for you. May I remember the innate goodness of my breath. May I remember to offer myself my own compassion. And whenever possible, may I choose to move with ease and peace. And then take your time, and go slowly, take a moment to open your eyes and find some movement. And then just a final note before we go today, this Tonglen practice, it requires us to have tenderness for ourselves. And so this practice, it is really working with compassion. And anytime difficulty arises, we need our own compassion the most. So if you anything was difficult was brought up for you, please feel free to shoot me an email. It's just larissa at yogahothouse.com. But if it brings difficulty, just that remembering that you need your tenderness in that moment. Just go back to your breath. That's right. I'm just breathing and I'm receiving this gift. So just a reminder to take care of yourself in these practices. If you have questions at all, please let me know as always.